Good morning everyone. Welcome back. I am fishing Galveston Island State Park today. We are going to have a pretty decent southeast wind that's going to be coming in at about 10 to 14 miles an hour. I decided to fish this portion, the bay side of the uh, state park, because it's going to give me the best shelter from that wind. Right now it's calm. You can see behind me the water is almost nearly glass. There's a slight ripple but for the most part, I am protected. I'm gonna fish all the grass line, and if I see anything blowing up, then I'll definitely go to that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna throw this top water right here. Uh, hopefully it's gonna work. This is a fairly large plug, a top water lure that uh, we normally don't tend to use. I just had a blow up right here, right in front of the kayak. But I'm gonna see if it works for some big girls. So uh, let's get at it. Big top water plug bite is non-existent, did not work. I'm gonna put it away for a little bit and we're gonna go to some plastic style baits and start making up some ground. This jig head is entirely too heavy. It's making a big old huge splash. It's my 3 8 ounce one, so I'm gonna go back to a 1 8 ounce. I've got it rigged up already behind me. Actually, I do not. It's on a popping cork. All right, I'm gonna have to retie. So this is the difference between the 3 8 ounce and the 1 8 ounce. So check out that size right there. You can definitely see how much more heavier it is. It's gonna get it down there. I normally use this size to get inside deep water or fast moving water like when the tide is going out and at the drains the water is just being flushed out of the marsh that's when you want to go with this guy this guy is the one that you use when it's calm right now and you don't want to spook anything so let's get this one tied on there we go first fish on Size trout. Got a nice trout. Here we go. So switching up from that 3 8 ounce definitely allowed me to have a little bit more stealth when oop, these guys have such paper thin mouths that every time they go to doing that they uh, spit the hook on you whenever they jump. But uh, going to that 1 8 ounce, look at this beautiful trout right here. Man, gorgeous trout. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Get on back over there. Keep eating that mullet. I wasn't seeing anything bust up alongside the grass, but that doesn't mean that they're not there. So more, more often than not, you'll see me just blind cast and try to get parallel to the grass so that I can cover more ground. There are a lot of game fish that are basically cruising right alongside the grass just trying to get an easy meal. So just keep that in mind. Oh, that was one, that's probably a flatty. I didn't even feel the thump. No, it's another trout. I didn't even feel a thump, goodness gracious. Oh, he got off. It's okay. That was a little juvenile, but I did not I didn't feel that thump I just saw my line going and I was like wait a minute. What's going on here? Come here Houdini We've definitely got some trout working this grass line All right, okay, there we go right over there The tip of the grass is just moving back and forth. The wind isn't doing that. That's got to be a fish rooting around down inside there Hopefully it's a red Well, I got the aim of a cross-eyed armadillo all right, that's a lot better. If that fish is still there, hopefully he's gonna see this. Got us a small dink. Waiting for the big boys to come out. Seems to be nothing but, hold on fella, just chill. You and your cousins are always so impatient. I'm going to get it out of you. All right, there we go. Go home. Come on. There you are. Uh, yeah, there's nothing but nothing but small dinks out right now. For the most part, that's all they are. 
the longer I keep coming out here, the more and more I will be able to start formulate patterns and uh, you know, it's just gonna start happening for me. At least that's just wishful thinking, right? <laughs> Trying to act like I know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm about to go into the grass. Let's get out of it. <laughs> Another little dink. I hope the camera was able to get him whenever he flashed right on it. This guy came straight out of the grass just to hit it. Well, hopefully these guys are the ones that are going to be put on our show till uh, the big ones come out. There we go. Yeah, we are definitely inside the nursery because these guys are all real tiny. Hold on, buddy. I'm going to get it out really fast. Ah, it's got me in my eye. At least that felt like a hard hit. It felt like something that was worth catching until I got him uh, above the water. And you can see that he was clearly a dink. Maybe I'll go find a uh, patch of oyster and try to fish that out there once I get towards the, uh, the bay. I don't know. If I keep catching dinks, I'm definitely gonna leave this little inlet. Okay, so this is it. Uh, I am definitely going to leave this area. This little fella finally tore my tail off. And let's try to get him back inside the water quickly as possibly can so he has a good chance of living. Go on, buddy. Um, appears there's just a bunch of dinks cruising all inside this area that I'm fishing. I'm going to make a beeline straight to this area that I wanted to fish, I looked it up last night and uh, it's not a secret. As soon as I get to it, and if it's good, then I'll let you know <laughs> which area it is. Little pinfish taking our tails again, but I came prepared this time. So we're gonna remove the gulp, turn around, reach into the bag of tricks, and pull out nothing other than, boom, Z-Man. Oh yeah, we got the grubs. Two and a half inch. It's not the same size as that four inch gulp, but it's gonna have to do. I'm gonna switch it up and put it back on the one eighth ounce jig head. Let's get this put on. These things are darn near indestructible, so I'd like to see those pinfish. If they can chomp this, well then I throw in the white towel. I hand it to those guys. I don't know what it is, but we got them. We got the little culprit. I told you I was gonna get you. I told you. You couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Shark's probably gonna come and get you. Get out of here, little turd. Okay, I'm good, I know what it is now. I can go ahead and move on. I've been out here for, what, the past 35, 40 minutes? Just trying to catch whatever it was that was taking my tails from the gulp. The Z-Man grubs. <laughs> They, uh, they stand up to it, their teeth a little bit better, but uh, man, those little pinfish have got some teeth. They can go straight through these Z-Mans, like with the quickness. Well, everyone, I'm afraid I've ran out of time. Uh, it's been a very tough day of fishing. It's been a very like tough weekend of fishing, actually. I've only caught nothing but dinks. I'm, I'm grateful that I didn't get skunked, but man, don't come out here. And if you do and you catch some big ones, then please let me know with a comment below what you used and where you got them because I am stumped. Uh, if you like the video, I know it's going to be a far cry to get some of them thumbs ups, but uh, if you did, then please uh, let me know. So uh, that's all I've got for y'all. If uh, you have anything to say, again, leave it down in the comments below. I'll answer whenever I get a chance to sit down and then take a look at everything that y'all are asking. Uh, not sure where I'm gonna fish tomorrow. Uh, I know it's definitely not gonna be in the Galveston area because it's just been tough this entire weekend. So I'm gonna go home, do my homework, and figure out where I'm gonna fish. All right, that's it, that's all I've got. I've run out of time, I gotta get out of here. 
Until next time, tight lines.